In this video, I'm going to show you how to bias through pitch. I've got an EUV Kirchhoff mass technology. I've got a line space pattern and an EUV stepper. For my line space pattern, I've chosen five pitches. I've got a pitch variable locked to a case variable. The case variable is a pilot variable because the pitch values are not evenly spaced. I've got 60, 70, 80, 120, and 500 nanometers pitch. So the idea here is that we need to apply a bias because we are trying to obtain a 32 nanometer CD through pitch. So the first thing we'll do is we'll we've got our nominal case set here and we'll find our nominal uh, threshold. Okay, So when we simulate this for the various pitches we're not going to get I'm going to plot the CD versus pitch. So you see that it's not a flat curve. It should be 32 nanometers everywhere. So we're going to apply a bias to uh, the line at the different pitches in order to get this curve flattened out. This is kind of like manual OPC. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, send this to the list. And now I've got the data series here. Okay, and then I'm going to copy this to the system clipboard and I'm going to introduce a new variable here. So I'll click here, I'll add a new variable and I will paste uh, the values Okay, there was an option in the menu to paste the values that were on the clipboard. And you see that we have 32 nanometers here, 34, 37. So I basically took the fee the variables and I fed them back, or sorry, the, the CD, and I fed it back as a variable. And this would be just called CD1. So now over here, what we're going to do in the bias is we're going to put, the, we're going to make the bias related to CD1. We're going to say uh, 32 minus CD1 and then we're going to take this quantity and multiply it by 0 0.3 because we don't want to feed back at 100% we want some kind of uh, uh, moderator here otherwise it goes, it goes unstable so now let's just check that we have the right direction I'll set this as the nominal value so it's going to set a 2 nanometer negative 2 nanometer bias so now we'll simulate again. And we'll look at the CD. Oh, there's one mistake here. This needs to be locked because we want to use this bias for this case, this bias for this case. So we'll try again. Okay, and then we've got our CD here, which should be flattening out at this point, 32, 34, 36, 36. So let's send this to the list, copy, and we'll add a new variable. Okay, we'll set this locked, and then we'll paste. So now we're feeding back this. So we'll say this plus 32 minus CD2 times, let's turn up our feedback factor, 0 0.5. Okay, and we simulate this. Okay, it's flattening out. So you get the idea. I can continue. Now it's 34 nanometers. Um, we could send this to the list and do one final iteration. Copy, add a new variable, CD3, paste, and put this in there. 32 minus CD3 let's put a feedback factor of 0.75 and simulate. Now we should be pretty close to 32 nanometers everywhere. It's 
pretty flat. And then the bias you can read off in each case here. So there's minus 2.8 bias, minus 5.7 bias, minus 6.8 bias, and finally minus 6.4 bias.